And we now have access to the blue spear thingy. With this third and final weapon, the mystery of the fountain would finally be solved. Soul Stealer. Wow, I never once got it right. Good times. Anyway, of course we're going to take the free weapon charge, because good lord, do that every opportunity you get. And now? Now are we going to get the goddamn... Yes, okay. So now we're going to go get the final... Secret? Final secret? I don't know if it's the final secret for this level. Whatever. We're going to go get another secret. So up here, where we went when we were trying to get the, uh, I think it was the Heart Seeker, uh, there is now a cracked wall on one of these little pedestals, and there's no more humans tied to the walls. What happened? I didn't need them all. Weird. Oh, you dick. I do not have the time to be messing around like this. Anyway, see the wall? Yeah, blow it up. And that's another health upgrade. Good times. Now, personally, I just, uh, I tend to just exit out the front and then come around. It's a lot easier. Look, I'm starting to die. Good times. You'll notice for the first time ever, Raziel also does the dying electricity thing in the spectral realm because that's, that's right, your health does not regenerate here. Because Crystal Dynamics hates you. Oh lord, no, I don't want to do this. Wait, what am I? Oh, this is kind of sad. Oh, I know why I did it. Okay, good. I was about to say, it's kind of pathetic that I actually, you know, in the past, fought those slew law to get this transition point, even though we eventually have to go in the Spectral Realm anyways. But yeah, I forgot I did it for that. Fair enough, past me. You win this round. Good job. It's good to know that even when I doubt myself, apparently I had a plan. Fuck! Get up there! Why does the cannon transition right as you jump? That is retarded. Note to developers. If you are making us jump in a 3D game, don't move the camera until we've completed the jump. Please. That's rude. And mean. And spiteful. And a little bit... Hmm... Yeah, if you're wondering why I just stopped talking, it's because I realized I was still going. Really love the look of this level, though. I know I keep saying that, but I do. It's because it's very different. In fact, it's the only real, like, modern-day building I can even fucking remember in the Soul Reaver series. Not for Blood Omen, but, like, you know, Blood Omen. Put them in two, nothing looked pretty, so I'm gonna revel in this while I can. So here we are, you and me, for the final stab, the final plunge. Right into the fucking spine of that thing. Look at that. Pink! Yeah, because that makes total sense. And a TK rune is hidden behind this, which only breaks after you've dealt with a soul drinker. Stealer. Shit! You don't even have to press a button for this one, you can just jump right in the pool. It's kind of nice, I guess. Even though it's weird. You know, no matter how pretty you make it, it's still just a loading screen, right? Here, the images were unadulterated, and their meaning ominously clear. 
the vampire hero, the bearer of the Reaver Blade, was confronted by an adversary worthy of his powers. The enemy race, long banished, had a champion of their own, with flaming eyes and a fiery sword. The resemblance I bore to the adversary mocked all my hopes. Had Cain been the vampire hero of prophecy all along? Did he suspect what I was? For if I was this foretold adversary, then Mobius was right, and had always been right. I was destined to fight Cain and destroy him, or be destroyed. What part did free will play in any of this? I always thought this was a strange logical jump. I looked so much like that adversary. Yeah, except you don't. You don't look anything like him. You're the you're blue. I mean, I understand the bat wings because you did have bat wings. The other guy looks way more like Kane than you do. Anyway, so this is gonna happen. Your deliverance is at hand. In death is your release. This state is merely. And if you couldn't tell by their little speeches there, this is the Death and State Guardians. Uh, States is the one who's turning into a fiery ball of rape. Let me out, let me out, let me out. And uh, Death is the one who's going to spin around like he's a fucking Ginsu knife magic circle failing metaphor. Yeah, there's nothing too good to say about this fight. It's kind of dick all around. Uh, you got one guy who does basic area denial, another guy who does a nice spin attack that hurts like a bitch, and there's a, like, fucking 50 slua in the middle of it. So, you know, good times there, too. Um, pretty much the best thing to do is I try to get the death guy down first, and the slua I try to keep there in case I need help. But after a while, if they get really annoying, you can just clear them out. It's it's probably a little bit safer to clear them out first and just deal with these two guys. Because there's just so many effing claws and fangs and bullshit in the way. That was a good sentence. I'm doing an awesome job. Yeah, that was a little dick. Good thing is you can always still use your TK to sort of just move those slua around, you know. Because they're little bitches. And that helps. So when States goes all magic Super Saiyan fireball-y, he's, uh, he's pretty much invulnerable. Hey, hey, everyone stop doing stuff. We gotta watch the light go into the magic urn thing. Okay, we good? 